and it's morning. And in case I've never told you, I hate mornings. <laughs> so it's currently almost eight o'clock. I have to work at eight o'clock, which means I need to get up and take a shower now. Good news is I feel, wow, that's some hair. Um, I think I feel better today. However, my ear is so clogged. It's ridiculous. Um, my nose is also still kind of stuffy. I feel better overall, I think, so far. We will see how that continues throughout the day. Definitely need to uh, get my life together here. Normally I would make the bed. However, whoa. Um, today is bedroom cleaning pickup slash um, cleaning the sheets day. So I'm not going to bother to make the bed. I'm just gonna strip the sheets here after I uh, get ready. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shower now and um, I'll be back. I am now clean and um, I guess ready for this day. My ear is still very clogged. Um, that's gonna be annoying, but it's fine. Let's go, let's make some breakfast and most importantly, some coffee. So I'm gonna need y'all to bear with me through what could be some very awkward angles throughout this, but I'm dropping um, coffee grounds. Um, but I'm, I'm doing my best, you know? I'm, I'm doing what I can with with what I have here. So hopefully they don't turn out, you know, this doesn't turn out super awful, but you know, we'll kind of just see. Although this is not the normal coffee that I get. This is the 100% Colombian. Usually I just get like the normal, like original or whatever, but they were out. Oh man, I forgot I need to run the dishwasher. All right, I guess we'll use this mug. <laughs> All right, let's put that down. Oh yeah, it is a Keurig, it says it right there. I also need coffee creamer. I need actually a lot of grocery type things. Um, yeah, it's payday. So I definitely need to at the very least write a grocery list. I kind of want to do an online grocery order, but also, I don't know. We'll just kind of see what happens. I'm gonna let this brew because it's really loud and then I'll be back. All right, the coffee's done brewing and being obnoxiously loud. So I don't normally drink out of like a, a travel mug, but like I said, I need to do the dishes. So let's get some breakfast. I'm gonna have some yogurt today. And before anyone comes at me, frozen fruit's so bad, don't eat that, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. <laughs> it's better. It's more consistent. I have a lot of things with textures and frozen fruit is just more consistent um, because it's just always going to be the way that it's going to be. Oh no, I don't have any normal size spoons that are clean. So I'm gonna use a big spoon. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> so yogurt and blueberries and strawberries and granola. Um, I, Again, going back to my weird textures thing, I love yogurt. I don't love the texture of yogurt. So I just put a bunch of stuff in it and then it's fine. <laughs> All right, breakfast is ready. Time to go to my desk and uh, work. Ooh. I have a lot to do today and no desire to do it. Um, which is, it's pretty normal, let's be honest, but <clears throat> I need to get on this, honestly. Uh, it, sometimes I will write my to-do list, like, in my daily in the morning. Sometimes I will write it at night. I, um, put up a daily plan with me for today's spread, so I filled it all in yesterday. So I'm gonna need to strip the bed of the sheets so I can wash those, but I think that's gonna wait until after my PT appointment. I don't know, we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, but I want to add some links to 
my YouTube video that went up today, my daily plan with me. And then I need to, I want to at least like look at my budgeting stuff. Um, I probably won't do it all right now. Um, but I want to at least like take a look at my bank account and all that good stuff. And I think that might be it for right now, like personal wise. And then I'm going to start on work things. Oh, I just remembered I need to send an agenda for a meeting this afternoon. So I'm going to do that now. <laughs> okay. It's time to go to PT. I, um, am not mentally prepared. I, yeah, I'm just... <laughs> With having been like not feeling great for the last few days, um, the idea of going to PT right now does not feel great. I mean, like I'll be fine, but also I don't want to. <laughs> I do feel a lot better now. Um, that could have something to do with, you know, the day quill. But I'll take it because if it's going to keep me going, um, I'm not going to be mad about it. This cold is driving me so crazy because, like, physically I don't feel super awful, but I also don't feel great. So it's like one of those, I want to keep doing things because I don't feel like I feel terrible, but I also like, you know, I don't want to push myself and then like kill my body and then have it take longer to feel better. But you know, it's just one of those struggles. It's kind of cold outside. It's not like super cold out. So I don't want to put a coat on, but I think I'm going to put a hat on because that'll help, right? <laughs> I really just don't like wearing coats if I don't have to. And it's like 40 degrees out. So I don't feel like I need a coat, which some of you who live in warm places, you might be like, what, 40 degrees, that's freezing. It could be worse. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just gonna go with, go with the hat and the sweatshirt and hope for the best. Also, I hope that this video doesn't give anyone like motion sickness because I feel like it's going to be rather shaky. <laughs> so it's, let's see, what time is it? 9.20. So definitely time to start getting out of here. Um, luckily my PT place is only like seven minutes away it's really not that far which is very nice since you know it's like the middle of the day well not even it's still morning but um <laughs> since you know I need to go I need to be working but also like I need to do this and I get an hour break during the day anyway like normally it's you know an hour break for lunch but it's an hour break nonetheless so that's kind of how I treat this situation with um, going to PT during my working day is I get an hour break anyway. So I don't know why it really matters. Now, if I was going to be gone for more than an hour, then yeah, that would be a different story. But I'm not. So I think it'll be okay. I do have a lot of things that I need to do today, like I said earlier, but you know, we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, kind of how life is going to go. So I'm going to, oh, put my thumb in front of the camera, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm going to drive to PT now and, uh, I'll check in after. <laughs> All right. It's 10 15. I survived PT. Um, I told her I had a cold slush. I'm sure she could tell because I feel like I sound kind of stuffy. I don't know, maybe not. Um, and we pretty much just did, <laughs> she like worked out my shoulders and then um, I just did a bunch of stretching, which honestly was really nice. Um, yeah, now I'm going to go back to my work adventures. I just, there's so much that I need to do. 
I did get some stuff done earlier um, before I went to my physical therapy appointment, but there's still a lot to be done. <laughs> still a lot to be done, which I mean, it makes sense. It has not been the most productive last two days since I didn't really feel good and I didn't have any medicine until yesterday afternoon since I don't get sick very often, which I've probably said 12 times now and you're probably sick of hearing, but um, since that doesn't happen very often, I don't always have like cold medicine and stuff on hand. So I had to go buy some, which was rather annoying, but we have it now. Um, I'm feeling pretty good still from my first dose of Dayquil. So <laughs> hopefully um, I can continue to feel okay. I'm sure I will have to uh, take more Dayquil, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> as long as it gets me through the day and I get my work done, that's really all I'm going for today. <laughs> so yeah, time to, that's cute, um, time to get back to working. Okay, let's make sure I actually get some life things done today. Um, I have a very long to-do list and I know if I don't just do them now, I'm not going to get them done. So let's go ahead and um, let's let's strip the bed so that we can um, start on washing the sheets. Part of me feels like I just washed all the sheets and like the bedding and everything, but I know that I didn't do it last week. So I know that that's false but it's isn't it funny how that happens you're just like no I, I swear I just did this but I guess that's what happens um when you live alone and you're the one doing all of the chores repeatedly is you feel like you have just done them um when you really you really haven't so that's fun all right laundry detergent oh boy loud doors <clears throat> Let's just throw all of this stuff in here and move on with my day. Okay, this this washer, it's very fancy, very new, right? Wait until we go over to the dishwasher. <laughs> it's the exact opposite. It's very old. Possibly, possibly older than me. I... <clears throat> I gotta be honest, I honestly, I think that the, the dishwasher might be older than me. I mean, that could be a little bit of an exaggeration, but like, look at this. Look at this dishwasher. It has a freaking knob. What? What? I had literally never seen that before. I had to ask my mom when I moved in here how it even worked because <laughs> I had zero clue. I was like, how do I... How do I even use this? <laughs> so that's fun, but I'm gonna go ahead and start the dishwasher also, because as we learned this morning, I am out of a lot of silverware. So I should definitely, ah, um, get on that. Oh boy. So yeah, look at this. You just like turn the knob to normal wash but I literally had no idea how it worked. <laughs> I was like, how do I do this? <laughs> so yeah, good times over here. Okay, let's, uh, let, let's get to my to-do list here. You can't see my to-do list, but <laughs> to-do list. So what have I done? Um, I'm not gonna mark off washing the sheets and bedding yet. Because, you know, it's it's going. Also, it's only not even 11 o'clock yet. Um, okay, I did pay some bills. And I updated my budget. I don't know. I think I might add, maybe not for today. <laughs> maybe this is a tomorrow 
a tomorrow Sydney thing, but I kind of want to make, I think I want to start doing like, <sighs> that's so loud. I apologize. Um, I think I want to start doing a, um, a digital, good Lord, words are hard, a digital budgeting, like using Excel, maybe. I, I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Maybe not today, though. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> but it, it is going to be on my list for this week. Um, run the dishwasher. Currently running. Um, I think that's all for right now. Okay, now I really have to, like, do some more things. I've done, like, some little tasks here and there, you know? But, like, I really need to, like, get into my life now for work. Um, because, yeah. This is how it goes with working from home, I feel like. This is the burden, burden of working from home. Is that sometimes it's hard to, like, motivate yourself to do the working part because you're in your apartment or your house or whatever. And there's so many other things that you could be doing that you need to be doing that you want to be doing, <laughs> but you need to work. Anybody else? Anybody else have that, that problem? Is that just a me thing? I don't know. I guess it could just be a me thing. <laughs> it doesn't always go this way, but it sometimes does. And today seems to be one of those days, but I'm going to do some work now and I'll check back in later. <laughs> oh, all right, it's almost noon. Um, I'm still not sure that I've really accomplished much except to um, figure out what exactly I need to accomplish today. Um, there's just lots of things like coming at me work-wise recently, I feel like, so it's kind of an adventure, but I'm gonna take a momentary break and I'm gonna move the washing machine is done. So I'm going to move the sheets into the dryer. I should have brought the comforter out here with me so that I could put it in the wash, but it's not that I like, I have to walk very far. My apartment is <clears throat> not that big. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to eat. I don't really have a whole lot of food in my house right now. I actually need to go to the grocery store today. That is on my list of things to do. I don't really want to do it, but it is on my list. I just, I hate grocery shopping because I don't really like cooking. So <laughs> I always struggle to figure out what I'm going to buy. Um, I think I might just order some DoorDash. I just got to figure out what I want. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to continue working, I guess. The dishwasher is done and I could unload the dishwasher, but I'm going to be honest with you. It's probably not going to happen until tomorrow. It, it's just not. <laughs> this is how my life goes. I am going to try to go to the grocery store and vlog while I'm in the grocery store and people will probably think that I'm insane. But I don't know. We'll kind of just see how this goes. We'll just see how this goes. It might just be a video of me talking to you repeatedly, but you know, it's fine. That's all that I have on an update for right now. Got to figure out what I want to eat. Yeah, that's probably what I should do. <laughs> Maybe take some more Dayquil probably time. Um, yeah, I, I think that's where I'm at. I think I'm going to figure out what to eat now and order some DoorDash. Food has arrived. I decided to get um, soup from Banera because it just sounded really good. I, I guess because I'm sick. I don't know. I would eat soup all the time. Oh, somebody's dog. I'm excited. <laughs> I may or may not have gotten um, two soups, two of the same soup, but two because um, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to want more later slash maybe I just want more right now. I don't really know, but I thought, I mean, I can't go wrong with, with soup, right? Spoon acquired, time to eat and do some more work that I don't want to do. <laughs> I did take more Dayquil also, so hopefully getting some food in me to go with that Dayquil will, will um, go well for me. I have pretty much the rest of the day to just like get things done um, work-wise. 
I do have a meeting at two o'clock, which I'm not looking forward to, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna push through. It's 12.45 right now. So I'm going to keep working on some of this stuff and pretty much until that meeting. And then um, I'm gonna have that meeting and then I'm gonna go back to all of the things that I have to do. So I know my life is really exciting. <laughs> Um, it's currently 3.20. I filled my water. I've drank an entire water bottle today. In case anyone was curious, this water bottle is like a great Stanley water bottle cup thing knockoff. Um, it was like 25 bucks, I think, at Target versus the like 45 plus shipping that a Stanley cup is. And it holds 40 ounces of water. It's still very cute. I like it a lot and yeah so in case you're looking for a not Stanley cup that it does the same things as a Stanley cup um this is this is for you uh so I've already had 40 ounces of water today go me very proud of myself um I usually drink about two of these in a day sometimes more I would like to drink more but like 80 ounces of water is pretty good there's just a lot of things going on um so probably gonna try to work until at least six and then I have to go to my parents house and do try something like get something do something really quick and then maybe go grocery shopping I don't know if I'm gonna have the energy for all of those things today but I'm gonna do my best to get all of those things done so I think I'm gonna go move the laundry really quick and then I'm just gonna come back and sit here and continue working <laughs> because this is my life. Okay, I got a package from Amazon. <laughs> Did I need more things from Amazon? No, but does one ever really need more things from Amazon? I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, it's in two boxes because you know, why not? I couldn't tell that from the picture in my email because the Amazon driver was running away in the process of taking the picture, I guess. Who even knows? <sighs> I can't open them yet, though, because I have to finish a meeting. But I'm going to open them after it's done. So I'll be back. All right. I finished working. We have better lights. And uh, I opened all the pens. So, oh, gosh. Where do we? I guess we're going to start with this one because this one jumped. So, this is the Natural Colors set. They don't have names on them, which is a little bit um, upsetting, but that's okay. So, let's just... These are just pages that I never used um, <clears throat> in my cousin. So, let's just label them. So, Natural... Let's see, these will be Rye Tech Sign Brush Pens. Well, that's a good letter there. Okay, so we have Natural. We're gonna do here. And then, what are the other ones called? Vibrant. And Vintage. I was like, what is that last one? All right, let's start with these. Oh my gosh, this looks so nice. Oh yeah. This is a very nice brush tip. That's pretty, I like that. I have a feeling this purple is going to be stunning. Oh, yes, I enjoy that. That is for certain. All right, let's 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 just get this little thing out of here. Okay, that's better. These are so pretty. Ooh, I like this one a lot. I 
I don't know if you want to watch me literally swatch all of these or not. I don't know. I guess I will just decide <laughs> based on how long this video ends up being when I go to edit it. We'll kind of see how that, uh, how that turns out. So far, nothing that I've like filmed has been super long. It's just been a lot of really short segments. So, I mean, this is for sure going to be the longest segment, but we will see how I feel about it. I really like that color. It's like a reddish brown kind of color. It's pretty. This one's going to be interesting, I feel like. Is it going to be green? Oh, it is. Oh, it's like olive. Ooh. The packaging makes, I mean, I guess it looks olive. I don't know. In my brain, I was like, is that going to be a pretty color? I don't know. <laughs> it is very pretty. I like it. This looks like the one, kind of like the one, the Calliograph that I used in my daily for today. And we have one more. Oh, is this black? Oh, I thought this was another blue. Ooh, another black brush pen. I'm never going to be mad about that. Okay. So that's the natural set. And I would say that they look pretty much how I thought they would look based on the caps. So that's always nice because I feel like that's not always the case. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do... The vintage set was next, but let's do the vibrant set um, because I wrote that one next. <laughs> let's... These are going to be bright, y'all. I just have a feeling they're going to be really, really bright, which I am totally okay with. <laughs> I just hope that they look different than um these like a lot different but we will find out will this be like a laser lemon color I kind of hope so like do you remember that color from like every pack of marker not every pack of markers but like the really big giant pack of markers when you were a kid just me <laughs> It was laser lemon and it was like, this is the brightest yellow that you will ever see. It's probably going to blind you in the process of you coloring with it, but by all means, please use it. I like that one. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, I really like this color. I like that one a lot. How is this purple going to be vibrant? Is it just going to be like purp? Yeah, it's just like very, very much a purple color. Let's see. Ooh, I like that one. I'm thinking I'm going to have to be using these a lot in my daily pages and probably my weeklies too. These are so pretty. Oh my God. Gosh, look at this orange. I love it. <clears throat> Is this one going to be like a brighter version of that? It's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's not that much brighter, I feel like. I mean, it's definitely brighter, but not like a ton. What is this, brown? Why is brown vibrant? What? Hello? I guess vibrant doesn't always mean bright. This is like the exact same like olivey green color as that one. Oh, interesting. Because they definitely like look different. Like this one looks brown. This one looks olive. I guess it's a little bit more brown than that, but not a ton. All right, let's see how bright this green is. Oh my gosh. This is like the green that dreams are made of. That is like a green marker. Love that. What is this going to be? Like a pinkish, like a salmon-y color? 
Ooh, I really like this color. That is stunning. Didn't we already have a fuchsia? So what's this? Oh, this is the blinding your face off pink. That's like, oh man. It's very pretty though. It's definitely like that blinding pink. <laughs> and then we have gray. Ooh, I like this gray. This is nice. Can you tell I don't do this like drill like ever? Cause I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. Okay, now we have this vintage set, which I'm hoping is just like all of the like pale pastel-y gorgeous colors of my dreams. Also, look at all these blues and greens. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, first up, we have this like tan color. I'm assuming that's what this is. I guess we'll find out. Yep, it is tan which is nice because I feel like I don't own any like tan markers at all. So that's nice. And then, ooh, this reminds me of, I was gonna say it reminds me of raspberries, but it really doesn't because raspberries are not that color. But when you name colors, that color is raspberry. I couldn't tell you why, but it is. Ooh. Oh, this color is interesting. It's like a brownish pink kind of color. I kind of like that. And then we have, oh, like a lighter version of that. I like this one too. And then we have purple. Is it gonna look like that one? I guess we'll find out. Oh, it's a little bit more like pastel. This one is more like, what's the word? Like it's cooler and this one is warmer, most definitely. And we have a yellow. Oh, this is an interesting color. This color reminds me of butter, like buttered popcorn. That's what that color is. <laughs> I guess I'm naming all of the colors because I'm, I don't know, it's fun. I hope this color is beautiful. It is, I like it. This one's like, I don't know, like a grapefruit almost, like a little bit more orange than grapefruit, but like kind of grapefruity. <laughs> Does that make sense? Ooh, this one's pretty. Pretty much any form of like a pastel or like vintagey kind of like blue color, I'm here for it. I'm here for it 100%. Because I just, I don't know, there's something about blue and like that tone that is just stunning to me. I like that one too. It's like a, it's kind of like that one, right? But it's like darker, it's richer than that one is. It's not as in your face. Ooh, this is a nice color. Oh, I really like that one. I also really like the tips on these brush markers, brush pens, whatever. They're very nice. Like, I feel like these would be really good for, well, at least personally, I feel like the harder tip is a lot better when you're learning because it can withstand more of like you going, you know, like light, hard, light, hard. Um, and these have definitely a firmer tip on them, which I enjoy. I also enjoy how those are really different and I did not think they were going to be that different, but those are pretty different colors. Okay. So there's all of my too many brush pens that I just bought. It's fine. We're, we're just going to pretend that I didn't just buy, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 24, 36 brush markers, brush pens. We're just going to pretend that I didn't just do that, but look at how pretty they are. <laughs> I really like them. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to find a home for these. So yeah, let's do that. I need to go to my parents. So maybe we'll just wait on the trash and all that stuff. Um, I do, okay, I don't wanna go to the grocery store. <laughs> as I've already stated at least once today, but I do feel like I should go to the grocery store. I definitely need to go to the grocery store. I just don't want to, but I'm thinking that I might. So I'm going to bring my planner because it has my, um, I don't know, my grocery list in it. Good Lord. And I'm going to go to my parents' house and then I'll figure out the rest of my life from there, whether I'm going to go to the grocery store or not. I'm really thinking not, but we'll see. All right. I left my parents. Um, remember how I said I wasn't going to go to the grocery store? Well, then I was thinking, you know what sounds like a lot of fun? And like what I want to do was going and wandering around Target. But then I was like, you know, if I'm going to go to a store, I should go buy groceries. And I love Target, but their food is expensive. So instead I'm at Walmart. Um, there's, there's Walmart, maybe. I think you can see that. I don't know. I'm at Walmart <laughs> and I'm going to go in and grab I don't think I'm going to get like all the things. I think I'm just going to get some things like some staple things, um, some like snacks and stuff. So I stop buying all of those things. I don't know. I'm just not like, I have this also struggle of like, I'm not really hungry. So nothing sounds good. So then I struggle to like buy groceries, but also if I'm starving, then I just buy like a ton of random stuff. So this is a problem. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to get. I do have my list. Um, my list is pretty basic, so I probably don't like need it, but I'm going to bring it in with me anyway. And yeah, I think we're, we're going to go shop at Walmart. Here we go. Using the sneaky side door because it's better than having to be around people. <clears throat> probably need a cart, but I have to go to the bathroom first, so that's our first stop. Okay, that's my first stop. Definitely don't need to go to the bathroom with me. Also, I don't know, do I want a cart? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> okay, we're going back to get a cart, which is so annoying. Why do the carts have to be out here? You know what else I really want? I don't want like a full cart. I want one of those like, <laughs> I've heard them called millennial carts. Like the little tiny ones. I want one of those. <laughs> but this is what we got. Oh, look, a little millennial cart. Oh, well, it's being used. So. This is fine. I'll make it work. I put my headband back on because it's cold now. Um, shopping at 7.30. Um, not bad, not bad. Um, there weren't too many people, which was, which was nice. I did buy a lot more things than I meant to, which means I'm actually going to have to like eat these things like cook them and eat them and I suck with leftovers that's another thing I'm not very good with leftovers which is why I need to clean up my fridge because I have a ton of leftovers right now that I just need to get rid of <sighs> and I'm only one person and I bought more things than I meant to and I got things from my parents house that I need to bring into my apartment so I'm gonna have to make like multiple trips which is unfortunate I also want Dairy Queen 
So I'm going to Dairy Queen. <laughs> gonna go to Dairy Queen and then I'm gonna go home and make multiple trips into my apartment with all of the things that I currently have, including these groceries. And then, and then I guess I'm gonna clean out the fridge so that I can put these groceries in. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna take out the trash in the morning just because by that point it's gonna be like 8.30 and I don't wanna do anything by that point. So I think that's gonna be the plan. So to Dairy Queen we go. So Dairy Queen looked very, um, very closed. So, you know, because it's winter, so yeah, they're not open as late. So instead, um, I'm at McDonald's <laughs> and now I'm thinking maybe I want food also. This is a problem. So now I have to make a decision. Ugh, I'm not ready. Oh my gosh, they have shamrock shakes already. Hi, what can I get for you? Um, just a second. Sure, whenever you're ready. Uh, fun fact, our McDonald's is now automated. There are no people doing the headset. It's, it's just a voice. Um, what do I want? I think I want chicken. Yeah. Or cheeseburgers. The struggle is real. I'm just gonna get the usual. Can I get a number seven with a Fanta? Would you like anything else? And a hot fudge sundae? Anything else with that? That's it. Your total is 12.52. Please pull forward to the pay window. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if you could hear that, but it, it's for sure like an automated voice. If you don't talk back to it right away, it continues to ask you, what can I get for you? It's really annoying. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Thanks, you too. hot fudge sundae. Maybe this will make my, my life better. We, we shall okay. see. I got half of my stuff inside <laughs> and now I need to go back out for the groceries. Ugh, so annoying. Um, but since I have to go back out, I figured I might as well, I'm also gonna bring this. I like to bring <laughs> like a bigger bag to put my bags into so I only have to carry one bag instead of carrying all the separate grocery bags so yeah um but since I have to go back out there anyway I decided to just go ahead and take out the things out of the fridge that needed to be thrown out and put them in the trash and then I can just go ahead and take the trash out even though I originally wasn't going to take the trash out. But, you know, since since we're already on this, this wave of doing things, might as well do it, right? So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take out this trash and then I'm gonna get my groceries, put them away, eat this food, probably. And then honestly, I might just go to bed. <laughs> I might just go to bed. We'll see what happens. I think that I'm done with my life today. So I think what I'm gonna go to is, like I said, eat this food. Um, it's currently 8.20. So I'm gonna eat this food. I'm going to journal, catch up in my planners, make sure that, you know, the things I did actually got crossed off because Sometimes I don't. Um, probably decorate tomorrow's daily and like get my life together for tomorrow. But also I have to take into account the fact that I'm going into the office tomorrow. So that's gonna be interesting for tomorrow's daily spread because I'm going into the office 
so I won't have time to like do a bunch of tasks throughout the day. So tomorrow's like to-do list might be very small, but you know, that's okay. It means more stickers, right? Uh, I think so. <laughs> um, but yeah, so food and planners and probably podcast, um, currently listening to Going West. Um, if you like true crime podcasts, highly recommend. I very much enjoy them. Um, Heath and Daphne, they're great. I love them. And yeah, maybe watch some YouTube videos also. Usually like this time of night is where I start to like kind of wind down, right? So I'm like, you know, checking in with my planners again, making sure that I've gotten everything done, um, spending some time listening to podcasts or watching people's playing with me videos and other types of videos like that, just catching up on YouTube and life and relaxing, decompressing from my day. Usually I try to like be done with everything by like eight o'clock. So I'm about like on target with that. I would, I mean, in theory, I would like to be done by like seven, but that doesn't always happen because sometimes after work, I end up like spending an hour doing absolutely nothing. And then I have to like push that hour to the end of my life instead, but it's okay. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go hang out and then I'm gonna get ready for bed and I'm gonna go to bed, hopefully by like 9.30. <laughs> I am an old woman. I just want to be in bed. Off to my planner space and relaxing for my day. <laughs> I just walked into my room and this is what I found. I forgot I washed the sheets and now I have to make the bed. I'm sad. <laughs> All right, the bed is made. There are sheets and blankets. I can sleep now. It's 9.30, I'm sleeping now. <laughs> um. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Um, hopefully I'll get better at this. I mean, we'll see. I'm very interested to see how all of this footage um, comes together into a video and how long it's even gonna be because I'm honestly not certain. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more um, content from my channel, including hopefully um, some more vlogs. But that's going to be all for me. Thanks, guys. Bye!